another YouTuber has done an excellent video about how to uh, change out the stereo in one of these cars, but his covered the uh, version with the manual transmission. I have an automatic, so I'm going to document the differences. I also noticed the last time I was in this car, taking anything apart, that he actually had some extra steps that were unnecessary. Uh, he removed a few things that didn't have to come out, so I'm going to show you the shortcuts this time. The next step on the automatic transmissions is to remove this bezel. Now it pries up and you just need something to get in under there. What I'm using is a standard 3-in-1 tool that I've recently been using to uh, regrout my bathtub. Now this tool normally would tear up that plastic, so what I'm going to do is cover it with masking tape. I've got the 3-in-1 tool taped off, so I'm ready to work. This bezel is held here, 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 and here by four tabs with very uh, sh tall teeth on them. Now when you pry this out, it is going to feel like you're breaking it, especially the first time you do it. This time it's actually coming out a little bit easier. The first time it will be very stiff and you will feel like you're going to bust it. Uh, the only advice I can give you is to pry as close to those four points that I, as I can, as you possibly can. And remember, if you do break it, eh, no big deal. It's probably a $10 part. But out it comes. And these are the tabs that held it in place. You can see they're ridged and they just shove into the holes here. So this is where I part ways with the uh, previous instructions. Uh, the poster of the previous video had you remove this entire center console. And at least on the automatics, it's not necessary. I suspect the manuals are going to be set up the same way. Back to my trusty 3-in-1 tool. Work the blade in under this back corner here. Go in the center. It's easiest to get it in right there. It's a little tricky, but you can do it. Well. Just kind of wiggle it in wherever you can. All right, now very carefully pry up. Sounds like I broke it, doesn't it? But it's not actually broken. I've just released the two back clips. Now, if I remember right, there is one on the side somewhere here. And I can feel it. it. Seems to be about here. So I'm just going to work in under and slowly twisting and prying, checking the tape now and again to make sure it's not damaged and tearing up allowing the metal tool to tear up my vehicle okay that one's not ready to go yet I'll try the other side go. There goes another one, and it really does sound terrible, doesn't it? But this is how Honda meant it to come apart. Come on, you. I'm right on the bracket. This one just doesn't want to... I'm right on the uh, pop latch. There it goes. Finally released. Now there's just the two front ones. we go. You can see you've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine latches, which is why it doesn't really come up easily, but it does come up. So what I've exposed now up front are these two screws that hold the cup holder in place. I will remove them. Number two Phillips screwdriver is all that's needed here.
Okay, those are out. Now, what those are securing are this trim piece here. I'll get you a better shot of that. They secure this piece of trim that runs up, over, and down the other side. It's also clipped in a couple places in back, but those clips are easy to reach now. It's easiest to just push on them from the inside to get them to come out. Sometimes. Those two went easily. This back one is fighting me. Back to the old 3-in-1 tool here. Just slide it along. You can't see that. There you go. Just slide it along the slot. And ideally, that should pop off. There's one. And this should be two over here. All right, that's loose. Closing the uh, cover for the cup holder, uh, just because I think it gets in the way. And at this point I continue to move forward. I'm actually pulling up and upwards mainly on these rails. And the snaps are releasing. Now there's a pull backwards. Got one more that hasn't let go over on the driver's side here. There we go. And that sounds like I'm destroying my entire car, but I'm not. This is how Honda meant it to be. So disconnect the cigarette lighter. Okay, I finally got the cigarette lighter disconnected. That was a battle, but it's unplugged. See all this other wiring. Your Honda will not have that. This is an aftermarket cruise control that I put in myself. The control panel happens to be on the panel we just removed.